Hey guys, I'm continuing tuning this deck so that we have recording on Sony Metal XR tape. And here is the frequency response, it's a white noise. You see a little slope above 12 kilohertz. We may do a frequency sweep just to make sure we will see a full picture. So far it goes pretty nice and straight, minus 20 decibel as needed. Okay, here, see, 15 kilohertz, it's even, and then it's about 2 decibel lower to 20 kilohertz and the record is 22 good now let's try to install different tape for example let's say 90 I will set levels back okay start the recording a level a little bit higher. I will reduce it. Okay, source. Tape. Okay, so, so it's almost there. Now let's see bias. Source tape. We need to add bias a little bit to compensate this difference. Like that. Source tape. Okay. Now take a look into the white noise. It looks almost the same. I don't see a difference. Okay, now type one tape. Let's try that one. And it shows the same results. Good. If you like, we can adjust, we can put bias in the middle and this will straighten up. And if I will just put a little bit off center, you see highs are going higher. I can make even more like three decibels more than needed on the highs. So if is this response, it should record frequency three flat. Let's see. It's really nice deck. I'm enjoying working on him. The only thing, the single thing I didn't understand are that uh, two ports. They sit in the expensive st steel box, cow copper plated, <laughs> and those ports are quite cheap. So even these ports here are made of a b better quality. So everything in this deck is lovely, <laughs> but these ports, they work well, but uh, I was expecting to find there something like, uh, more expensive and more like, reliable, whenever. It still works, anyway. So here we recorded, type one tape, there was probably a fault of a tape here, uh, we can re-record but it shows pretty flat to 20 kilogears with this bias settings just a little bit left for this tape and we are getting flat
cruel. Okay, that's what I was able to get from this deck. Uh, it sounds lovely. Uh, noise a little bit higher than from the Kamichis, um, but it's on pair with the Nakamichi DR2 noise level. The 680 and like Dragon does a great job removing noise from the tape. And same with Victor's, I pretty much like how they sound and the sensitivity. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Now it's time to close the cover. I don't think I will do anything else. So adjustments. Uh, two pots here. This let me use two for that. So this pot and this pot. It's a balance in between two uh, shoulders on the uh, initial amplifier. So here is the control point, TP17. You measure and adjust and get as close to zero as possible. This side the same. Here is test point and use this port to get to zero as close as possible. Here you set your level with level tape. No, no, this, this black one. Black one level. And these two are the blue one is the playback frequency response. So these two ports are for record levels, those two for indicator level. Here we have a left right channel bias, this port for chrome adjustment, this for metal adjustment. Okay, as easy as that. Not not too complicated deck, pretty much like to work on it. Okay, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy it. See you. Bye bye.